After the first day of doing the brambles, where I wore shorts and a blue t-shirt, got bit maybe 100, maybe 150 times. So, new outfit, head to toe, covered, socks tucked in, Let's see what happens today. hot again um, so much work to clear all this these combinations really thick like ivy and vines and very thick brambles and then there's the fallen roof there's structures like this where previous owner just seemed to tie everything to everything else so you can't come in with a strummer it's too dangerous um, and then you're finding oil drums and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to try and get right in the thick of that bit there. I'm trying to open it up because I'm randomly finding uh, more fruit trees. And a cherry tree. Loads of fig trees. I think there's a pear tree, but there's no fruit on it. So yeah, 
a lot of work. Well, cool. Time for the tour. Let's uh, show you what I bought. So it's this little green patch coming up on the left hand side, three and a half acres or so, right in the middle of farmland really. So a vineyard just on the left there and all the surrounding farmers look after the fields very well. So there's a long driveway from the road and that piece on the left is the other farmer's access, but otherwise no one comes down here. So it's quite a nice private entrance and feels like a really long driveway. Uh, so there's the main house, there's the outhouse in the middle there, which is the one with the flat roof, and there are two barns. So the field needs a bit of work. Uh, I'll talk about that another day because there's a lot going on there, but this is, gives you an idea of the sort of size of it and the position of it all. So main front door. Okay, so I've been using this as the main door. Um, this is the back end of the house and it's an old storage room. So I've just dumped all my tools and stuff in there for now because uh, we'll talk about the outhouse in a minute. It's not great in there. Into the kitchen or if you can call it a kitchen. There was a kitchen in it when I viewed it, but they took it out and left literally nothing. So bricks, an old door, a gas bottle and a camping stove and it's good to go. Fireplace needs ripping out. I bought a temporary fridge. Short hallway into uh, a small room, which will be the kitchen. Um, using it as a bedroom here because the mosquito nets on the windows are a bit broken and tatty. Um, need a mozzie net, but they're not too bad. And does this show it? Yeah, the view. You won't be in the house much in the summer because it's so hot. So outside space is more important. Anyway, so down the corridor a bit further into a very large room, um, which I'm using as a dump room and a, an office for when I work from home. And then there's this corner room where I guess that in the corner there was where they used to have the old central heating. But yep, they took that out as well. Um, couldn't take the bathroom out though. So luckily I've got a bathroom. Beautiful as it is, it works. Hot, cold water, really good boiler. And um, that shower there, it's kind of like a wet room. Everything gets wet. So one benefit, hot, sorry, cold water mains coming in and the boiler works and it's got mains power off the grid. What more do you need? 
blue sky, good food, good wine, and a view. This will be all landscaped in time. Um, I've got to check the rules about landscaping. Anyway, outhouse. Let's not talk about this one for the minute because uh, long story short, I've seen a snake in there and I've seen loads of rats. So I'll come back to that one. There are two barns, if you can call them barns. Um, so on the left, there's the back of the outhouse and it, the previous owner is just a hoarder. I've pulled all this stuff out of trees and bushes and all sorts. So there were about 30 odd chicken coops. Um, so I've burnt all those so far. Uh, didn't record all that. And a good bit for the rag and bone man. Now this is what you call a barn. And the roof has fallen in and it's got two quite mature trees growing right in the middle of it. So I'm gonna guess it's not been used for a while. However, the important thing with these barns, this and the other one you'll see in a second, is they're on the, uh, they're on the plans. And so therefore they could be turned into something in the future. And they're pretty big, as you can see how high they are. Um, this is the top barn, uh, which you've seen, but it's important they're on the map. 